Hey, WordPress fans. In this video, I just want to briefly cover how to update your PHP version. So you may have heard that there is PHP 7, uh, 7.1, 7.2, and 7.3 is even out now. And I just want to, to iterate how important it is that you upgrade. The two biggest benefits you're going to see from this, the first one is performance. Your site's going to perform a lot faster if you upgrade your PHP version to the most recent version, which is 7.3, as well as security. There's a lot of security pieces that have been fixed in the, in the more recent versions of PHP, and it's really important to keep your site secure. So if you're using anything below PHP 7.2, I highly recommend that you upgrade. Now, I would, I would prefer ultimately that you use PHP 7.3 if that's an option. There may be some themes and plugins out there that still may have some bugs or show some warnings or some errors if you upgrade to 7.3, in which case 7.2 is okay as well. They're, they're both pretty fast. Um, 7.3 is ideal, but 7.2 is okay. Anything below that, I would highly, highly recommend that you just stick to 7.2 or 7.3. So on your screen now, here's a quick... Uh, benchmark that Kinsta, they're a popular managed WordPress host, they're actually my top rated uh, recommended host. So check them out if you're shopping around for a new host. But they've done a whole bunch of benchmarks on performance to look at how much faster the newer versions of PHP are. And here it's pretty clear that especially if you're running PHP 5.6 or below, you're going to get a huge performance increase by upgrading. PHP 7.3, uh, considerably the fastest of all of them, but like I said, 7.2 is okay as well. And it, it almost becomes even more important if you're using WooCommerce. Here's an example of the, the same exact PHP versions, but this website is not just using WordPress, but they've added WooCommerce. It's even more important here, as you'll see that uh, PHP 7.3 is even that much faster than 5.6. One final thing before upgrading that I recommend you do is install a plugin called the PHP Compatibility Checker. Once you've installed and activated, activated it, you'll find it here under the Tools menu, PHP Compatibility, and you can choose which version you want to test with. So if you're planning on upgrading to PHP 7.2, um, then you would choose that option here. And then you can also choose whether you want to just scan your active plugins and themes or all of them. Now I recommend you really only have installed the ones that you are using, so you shouldn't have too many inactive plugins or themes installed. If you're not using them, I'd recommend you get rid of them. Um, but you can choose your option here, and then just go ahead and click Scan Site, and you'll get a report. Now, I'm not going to do this all here. I do want to mention, though, that this report is not the end-all, be-all. You, you might get some warnings um, or some error messages that aren't necessarily going to mean things are going to break. So there are a lot of what we call false positives that this test is going to run. But it's still a good idea just to kind of run it. You can actually download the file and save it just so you have it and, and get a, somewhat of an idea of which plugins or themes might be a huge issue. If you see a plugin or theme with a long list of a lot of different errors or warnings, then you might want to reach out to that plugin or theme developer and just ask them if their plugin or theme is compatible with whatever version of PHP you plan to upgrade. It might be helpful to ask them first just before you go through the process. So now let's dive in and take a look at how to do it. So let's talk about how to upgrade PHP in GoDaddy. So GoDaddy offers a lot of different hosting options. They offer cPanel and Linux hosting. Those are different. We're not actually going to cover those. The way you upgrade your PHP with uh, those hosting platforms is a little different. We're going to focus on the managed WordPress hosting that GoDaddy offers. So hopefully, if you have a WordPress site, you're using their managed WordPress. So on your My Account screen, on your My Products, you're going to see this managed WordPress. And we're just going to go ahead and click on Manage. The first thing you might notice here is GoDaddy does a nice job up at the top to remind us that we are using an older version of PHP, and they highly recommend that we upgrade. So you can just go ahead and click this Upgrade PHP button here at the top if you have that message. If not, you can go ahead and scroll down, and under Settings, you'll see this PHP version, and it'll list what version you're currently using. So we currently have 5.6, and then there's a link that says Change that we can click right here. Then we click this drop down, and GoDaddy gives us a couple of different options. You'll notice they don't have 7.3 available just yet. They're probably still doing some internal testing. Hopefully that becomes available soon, but like I said, 7.2 is still much, much faster and more secure than 5.6. So let's go ahead and choose 7.2. They're just asking us to type update to confirm, and then we click save changes. And now you'll see that down here, our PHP version has successfully been changed to 7.2.